Hey there, my fellow builders, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Anomaly Death Cult, episode 41, Annexed Obelisks. So simple and fine meals will also allow for chocolate. The reason I don't like um, insect jelly as a mood booster is you have a decent chance for just food poisoning. So it's like, oh, instead of a mood boost, now you're vomiting your brains out and you're even more pissed, right? Like that just, it creates a problem out of a, a solution. And I don't really like problematic solutions. Is there a mod? Yes, there is a mod for trade spot. There's actually a bunch of different mods for trade spot so that they're closer to your stockpile. So briefly, it's going to be a very, very messy research room. What? It's getting better. It's getting nice and sterilized. And we're starting to gestate more lifters, because I think that's one thing that uh, Jazz can make that the colony could really benefit from. There's like constantly hauler jobs to be done. Cathanon's useful, but he's just working alone. Actually, he's asleep. <laughs> uh, no available charger. Oh, because that's turned off. That would explain it. All right, shields is done. What do you guys want? Poles, I think, still broken. So, you did task me with better weapons and armor. So, I'm going to decide to go with recon armor as the better armor. Recon armor is pretty decent stuff uh, compared to, like, the not armor that we're currently wearing. Um, because we do have a ground pen scanner. And at some point, once all the construction projects are done the researchers will get around to actually doing grand pen scanning and uh, and we'll find steel and plasteel and gold and that kind of stuff. Just, I think at the moment, there's simply too many tasks around the colony and too few workers, but we're trying to help with that. Uh, definitely working towards automating some of the, some of those tasks. Or making them robots do it. Oh, I own a tortoise. Not anymore, I don't. Turtle soup. Maybe a turtle sandwich. Turtle sandwich. Oh, Moxie, hogging it all for yourself? Guess she was hungry. Actually, wouldn't be a terrible idea for additional group hunting. We're kind of low on traditional meat. And I spy with my little eye some very tasty horses. What's the glowing tree you used for? Um, which one? The anima tree? This one? Used for tribals to become psycasters. But you have to have a tribal background. If you don't have a tribal background, it's not really used for anything. It's used as a med meditation spot, I guess.
Oh my god, stand still. I gonna get you. There we go. Uh, so do we have any tribals? Would be a good question. The one that died that we we're trying to convert was tribal. So one way to tell is if you go to meditation focus types. If it says tribal, you know you're tribal. The other is if you mouse over the childhood. Oh yeah, so Dave, for instance, is tribal. Dave could hypothetically pray to the tree and gain psychic powers. I don't think it's really worth doing. It it doesn't. It would offer power to Dave, but uh, having a single tribal person praying would take it an enormous amount of time and effort. It's really beneficial if you have multiple people um, praying to it. That way you you unlock it faster. But essentially, what happens is you pray to the tree and it grows grass, and then once you have enough grass grown, you can consume the grass to level up your psychic powers. That is the uh, the easy explanation. But uh, for a single person praying, it would take like years for it to be an effective way to, to gain psychic powers. It's a very long time, but if you're praying by yourself. Oh, Carthrain mutated. You got a flush mass stomach. So we're almost done um, walling up our doors here. And walling up the other facilities, keeping it safe from raiders. Sort of safe. At least a layer of protection. And then I'll be able to take on new new jobs. I mean, continually we want to ground pen scan to try to find plasteel and gold. Um, but we definitely have a better research room. That's something that you guys voted on and I invested in. Very fancy stuff now. So the research speed here is uh, 126% because of the room cleanliness, the reading bonus, and the multi-analyzer. I could be buying more books, but I, I suppose I haven't. Most of the books that we've been offered are, like, boring or not useful or whatever. All right, so this waste pack freezer will be low rather than critical so that the corpses, the animal and any corpses and human-like corpses are actually hauled to the, the butchery. Because there's nowhere else to store waste packs. So, like, even if it's low, it's fine. So just a little bit more limestone and that will be cut. Um, so while I'm working on better equipment, is there some other task that I should take? Uh, because the polling software that I normally use is broken, I think I'm going to decide for myself and... The decision I'm going to make is to provoke the void further. I want more void provocations um, for a greater variety of advanced uh, entities to mess with. I'm going to wait to provoke the void until the obelisks are enclosed. Once the obelisks are enclosed, we'll be poking it real good. Guinea Big, you better stay on the right side of the wall there. Alright, this detector I might move to somewhere around here, like a central spot to cover all of the doors now, because we have 
Um, we have multiple doors that are going to need coverage. And I'd like to make it out of granite just so it blends in. I know, ridiculous. So I'm going to mine up that granite uh, meteorite. Actually, I have two of them. It's the only source of granite on this map dial. And Jazz, let's go ahead and um, get the gestator out. So, raffle timer for the lifter. Getting a second lifter now. And good luck. Okay, both obelisks are now well within our walls, and I'm going to double check the inside perimeter, but yeah, the inside perimeter is secure. I think what I'll do is I'll remove this from inside, because normally this won't be. And for now, I want to draw enemies to like a fire maze. So I'm gonna open up this door as the valid path into the base. Okay. Let's also prop these doors open too. Updating the home zone as well. So that if any of these walls get damaged, they get repaired. I might want to remove the pathing, the floor pathing off of home zones because the concrete isn't flammable and I don't care to have to constantly clean this area because it's not an area that the, the filth particularly matters to me. So something like that uh, seems to be a little bit more reasonable and, and I'll go and... Uh, Add the barricades and the walls in here, because every now and then you're, you're, the people that are stuck in your fire mazes will try to like punch their way out. So it's good to repair the walls uh, between entrapping uh, victims. Yeah, case in point, that barricade was actually a little damaged. So the home zone looks mostly right. Yep, home zone looks good now. Cool. I think we are ready to provoke the void. And Jazz, I'm going to have you join in... So we're like, you're going to be our um, constructor. Or actually, no, you're better. So Jazz, you'll be the constructor. And we're like, you're going to go to research. I need more people on research. Basically, there's so much research to be done between um, two research benches, the ground pen scanner, and all the entity research that we continually do that like my researchers are just always busy. A 29-year-old hunter named German is calling from nearby. Joins, uh, begs to join. Sure. Because you could be a blood bag. Or a colonist, if you're any good. Creepy breather, ugly. Uh, who needs luciferium. Oh, you idiot. 
You took the devil's drug. Well, all right, that's fine. Uh, kidney, lung, heart. No, 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 no. New clothing apparel policy. Strip. You are going to be stripped. Ghoulim? Uh, I don't have a shard to ghoul. If you want... And also, he's like a baseliner. If you want me to ghoul him, uh, I will pull for that, though. I, I could hypothetically ghoul him. I would just need to summon in some shamblers to get another shard. But before we do that, Lifter is named Yasori now. Where are you, Mr. Lifter? So I'm going to pull you about that. Should we ghoul or organ harvest German? Two minutes to vote on that. Either way, uh, I think it's a good time to do a draw shamblers, regardless. So let's go get that going. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Um, Evalco, wear the Eltex cap. And for the future, Let's keep the Eltex cap in here for more effective uh, rituals. Because your sensitivity affects the outcome and she'll have less of a... Yeah, it's a 3% gain for the total quality. It's decent when you're trying to min-max it, I think. So getting a getting a whole regalia of Eltex gear, a staff, a robe, all that stuff would be useful in the long run. Exarch, thank you for the resub. Oh. Uh oh, I didn't read. Oh no, it wasn't part of it. So an ENI dynamo has happened as a result of helping him out. Loser lied to us. Well, we're, he's really going to have to pay. So we're going to have to go anti-dynamo. Which is annoying because I just summoned Shamblers. Avalka, go arrest this idiot. So Eltex staff and everything Eltex stored on there. It's critical. Um, then you can take off your skull cap. 53 shamblers. Got it. Okay, you guys want them harvested? Copy that. I will continue with the harvest. But that will have to wait until we're done ghouling. Where are these shambling? Or, uh, done shambling. Anyone have immediate needs? Jazz needs death rest pretty soon, so let's get this done. Carthrain kind of needs food, but like, whatever. He barely works in this colony, so, uh. So he's gonna get pulled up, conscripted for combat. Um, the EMI Dynamo is protected by waste rats, so I can probably just send, like, two of our ghouls plus one person, and they will easily handle the waste rats.
Hmm. I have an idea. Let's retrofit this area for anti-shambler. Moxie, go lure us some uh, some victims. And bring them on down. Way easier to kill them in a bottleneck. Also, I can pull my shooters back a little bit so that they don't get lung rotten. I don't want to pull them back so far that my... Um, my... colonists shoot the ghouls? But we should be close enough to not hit colonists now. And still kill ghouls. Ghouls are plenty. Yeah, make sure the thrombo won't spoil. Indeed. In fact, what I could do is... Because I had suspended my butcher creatures when the uh, thing overflowed. The top one is going to be, like, butchering thrombo. So they'll be priority. No matter where the thrombo is on the map, we butcher it. So, GMT, or, uh, Brady Bill, go do that. Because I don't really care so much about the meat. It's the leather and the horn. Oh, we have a whole... No problem. That gets most of them. Moxie, go round up a few more. No shards so far. Since we whittle down the Shambler's numbers so tremendously, we've got 39 of 58 already dead. I'm just gonna send the my colonists out for the rest of them. Shambler's on their own don't pose too much of a threat. Yeah, there's a Gorehulk Shambler. And I don't see any in this groupage that, uh, that looks like they could be... captured. I only have one... I don't really want to fill the Supermax spots, so I really only have one spot for a Shambler anyway. Yeah, we didn't even get any shards. We just got Bioferrite. Didn't even get any captured. That's fine. Because I don't want to lose the ancient caskets, because they've been useful. I'll uh, fill them back in. All right. Uh, Avaka, how sleepy are you? I'm going to have you wake up and bring two ghouls out to the e dynamo. Good enough. Get moving. The two ghouls are pretty well fed, so that's not an issue. The prisoners are also impossible to feed when the power's off because the NPM doesn't work. So that's yet another reason to do it quickly. You know, robots can't recharge, gene bank fails. It's a big problem. It is the big suck. And Avaka's, um... It's 
one of the one of the parts of the um, of RimWorld's code I don't like is caravanning at night doesn't really work. So if you're a night owl, you're just like stuck caravanning uh, during hours that you don't love. No way around that. Hey, our duplication obelisk is ready to use. Jazz, are you okay? Yeah. Let's scan some more. More uh, fun genes. Who failed at that? GMT? Oh, actually, don't use it yet, because there's literally... I can't gene extract at the moment. They're being... Uh, what is this? Deficient 30... No? You're still fine. Oh, you know what? I just realized there is toxic build. Well, if they die, I can always resurrect them. It hadn't occurred to me about the toxic buildup for ghouls. When pointing out things I dislike about RimWorld, it's actually useful to name specific ac aspects about caravanning. So one is you can't caravan at night. Right, like you can when when characters are fully rested, fully slept, they'll still rest at night on caravans, which makes no sense to me because sometimes you just want to move around at night. So it should be, I don't know, there should be a little bit more control or something. I don't really or or that sleep shouldn't be respected or scheduling. There should be a caravan schedule for movement. I don't know, but something about caravanning with night owls or caravanning at night needs to get fixed because it's pretty dumb the way it is now. All right, so the dynamo's gone. Um, there is this other ancient caravan for the archer form, uh, which is what this one. Maybe I do that later. I do want to do that though, like very much so. But right now might not be the time. Don't I dislike all of it? Uh, yeah, like, to some degree or another, I do dislike all of it. So there we go. Now Jazz can actually death rest. Because his death rest facility is... Oh, there was a Bacchus Trader in orbit. German, you... God, you could have picked a better time to punch our power out. Uh, who's our runner-up doc? Uh, we're like, you're gonna do the operation. Yeah, there should be like a rest override or something like that where you could just force march. You know, there's actually, I'm not gonna take the last organ out of German because we can uh, ritualistically sacrifice him, which has the benefit of fully suppressing GMT and a Brady Bill. So I'm gonna do a public execution of German instead. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have started the um, gestation of another lifter before Jazz went under. Oh well, too late. Now I need a spot to put rotted corpses. I guess I'm gonna have this be the de dedicated spot. So this kill box is uh, becoming our dead life dust box. Informally. And because I have lifters to do the hauling, uh, it's far less of an issue, I think. Uh, 
All right, let's do this. Execution. Everybody, all the two slaves in attendance, German is getting killed. Let's go for it. This will help to reduce uh, slave revolts. So if we take a look here, rebellions every 2.2 years and 1.9 years. And after this, it should be uh, like two and a half years, something like that. Oh, even better, 4.3 years, 4.4 years. Yeah, fully suppressed. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Or not as often, at least. So I might want to wait for Jazz. Um, yeah, I might want to wait for Jazz to do a provocation ritual because he's particularly capable colonist and being down a capable colonist is not a great idea. Ooh, grizzly bear. Where's our val Our valid path here is there. Okay. Everybody inside. We got some grizzlies to eat. Actually, I'm going to change our valid path to over here. Have them very close to where, uh, to where they need to be when they're rotten. Just avoid standing where the lung rot is. Bears are barely doing anything. I can't help it. It's not my fault. Is that it? Seriously? Oh, no, there's one left. There's a few left. I am, do, do we even have, okay, yeah, I think some of them are, aren't immediately rotten. There, that one's edible. I'll we'll just have the ghouls, like, finish off the others. Uh, oh, apparently there was more, more bears that I missed. Oh yeah, there's more bears on this. Okay, Dave is not going to have a good time here. Let's see if I can't hit a awesome stun. Close the door behind you. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, Avaga, go patch Dave up. He's having a bad day. Ghouls, go get that bear. Oh man, he got, uh, he got pretty mauled. This goes to show how much more powerful the ghouls are than co regular old colonists, even wearing Thrumbo. Like Dave was, had dread leather pants and Thrumbo shirt and he's just like, poof, almost got ripped torso, new one. Oh, Carthrain did the same thing. Um, I should have gone on full lockdown after that happened. Wow, he lost a toe. Dave, don't go anywhere. Everybody in full lockdown. Let's not have this problem spiral. Ghouls are being brought in. So they are in the inner courtyard. One thing that's interesting is I actually probably could benefit from a door here. 
so that the inner courtyard is its own um its own internal area uh protected from the outside so i'm gonna do that for the future because i mean the um yeah i think there's a bit of a benefit there uh where will it go up here All right, the ghouls are incoming. We're like Crackhead, Ivalka. Let's go over to where Dave is. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Keep moving, Crackhead. So there's only one left, and it's on Yosori. It is weird that, like, the... I mean, I know they're Manhunters, but I do find it strange that they go after robots at all. Because it seems like such a low-priority thing to do. We are in the clear. Carthrain has been rescued. Since Carthrain literally doesn't do anything in the colony because he has brain damage, it doesn't really matter when he's wounded. Uh, what happened to the power here? Ooh, that's not good. Glad I saw that. We're like, fix that now. There we go. Death rest accelerators working. Nice, we have a good old-fashioned infestation. When it rains, it pours. Manhunters, infestations, just uh, keep, keep them coming. Uh-oh. Ex-lover of jazz. I think they're probably going to get eaten by bugs. I must say, the amount of infections we get here... Pretty rough. Hmm. I don't really want the bugs digging their way out, so I'm gonna go do with this now. Well, I guess we're gonna have more insect meat and insect jellies. Especially managing that I did it without having to burn anything. I mean, it's not done yet, but I don't really see a situation where my ghouls lose. Even if they die, they don't lose. Yeah. It's so cheap to res goals. I have... How much Twisted Meat do I have? 
Oh, right now I only have 40, but there's still obviously a lot of tough spikes to butcher. And I have uh, serums just stockpiled in my temple. Three of them. Cost 20 bio bioferrite, which I have 540 of, and I could probably get an equal amount of twisted meat in short order. was easy. <laughs> Just absolutely nothing to them. They got hurt, but you know. Yeah. Enjoy some bug. Glad you're not too picky. Are you all full? You're full, you're full, you're full, you're full. Okay, yep, there we go. Done and done. In the future, it might make sense for me to design a bottleneck. So I'll, I'll install a little bit of... Oh, 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 they broke out. So I'll engineer it so the bugs are easier to kill in the future. Carthrain, welcome back. Go get your SMG. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Anomaly Death Cult, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow cultists. <laughs>